Project 66. Control bleeding with an improvised tourniquet. Warning, applying an improvised tourniquet on the simulation arm can damage the arm. It is recommended that the student just follows the basic steps, but take care not to over-tighten the improvised tourniquet on the simulation arm. When used on a real patient, this type of tourniquet has a higher tendency, compared to other tourniquets, to damage internal limb structures like muscles and nerves, but in an emergency can still save a life. Do not practice this technique on another person. You will need a strip of clothing with a length of about two to three times the circumference of the simulation bleeding arm, the curved hemostat, Alternatively, a ruler, a stick, or a metal rod can also be used. Follow these steps. Close the blood pressure cuff valve and inflate the cuff to around 120 millimeters mercury, representing the average adult systolic pressure. Open the IV tube roller clamp. Stop the bleed. Use the strip of cloth and wrap it around the simulation arm in the tourniquet zone. Make half a square knot using the strip of clothing. Place the curved artery forceps with the hinge over the crossover part of the cloth, the curve facing towards the limb. Make a square knot on top of the artery forceps. Rotate the artery forceps, or lever, thus squeezing the cloth tighter and tighter around the arm. One of the team members should stabilize the arm during the tightening process. Tighten the improvised tourniquet until the bleeding decreases significantly or stops. Open the jaws of the artery forceps and clip it to part of the tourniquet cloth. Open the blood pressure cuff valve, allowing the cuff to deflate.